게임은 재밌으면 된다니까? 불멸의 전사 2 What's up? We're back here. Pro League 2016 Finals with Wolf and Tasteless. This is getting a little bit scary for yeah, Jenner. It's a 2-0 lead with serial killer stats, taking nerds out one by one like it's the movie Scream, only we know who the killer is. He doesn't even wear a mask, Wolf. I actually changed my mind. I think I think SOS is a better pick here because oh, yeah? Maru has had some issues with fatigue in the past. He's actually only ever had one all kill in his career. Okay. So if SOS falls here, uh, yeah, it's it's he's gonna have to do an all kill. It's basically impossible, but that just can't happen. If SOS loses here, I'm calling it. Maru never beats stats. It doesn't. It can't happen. It's gonna be like an all kill. That's that's my prediction. But I think if we send SOS out here, he gets a few kills. Then Maru can clean up whoever's left with I, less you know games to have to play. You know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't have yeah. to grind out four games or three games. He can do like two and close it out. Let's well, see what they've got see. planned. Oh, SOS! Here he is, man. He is 4-4 four and four this season, not as impressive as some of his teammates' records, but his play in his wins has been out of control, and they've only fielded him eight times compared to some of their players that have played much more well, games. I, I think that was very intentional by um, uh, by Jinir because they want to get their other players out there. I mean, you, you need to have a fully developed team of badass killers if you're going to be able to win this entire thing. And what they've done is they've really put Rogue and Trap out there a lot, made them carry their weight. By the way, they did carry their weight this time around. This is going to be one of Stats' toughest matches yet because SOS is such a... He's got a play style that you just can't quite put your finger on. Yeah, he's got the biggest brain in esports, man. Yeah, he's he's a pretty brainy guy. He knows all the spots for all the rushes. He knows how to do builds that you haven't seen before. To just play a normal game, weird timings, good at counterattacking, good at harassing. He, he's the full gamut of, of Protoss skill. So this is going to be a tough one here for um, for Stats. But yeah. let's see, I mean, if Stats wins this, Maru needs to play the eSports day of his life. That's yeah. right, it'll be the second time ever he gets an all kill if he wins it for his team, but right. I think I think SOS has got a good chance here. He's so smart, he's got games to study of stats. Cats played so many games recently. And we are now going into game number three, SOS against stats. So I don't know. Is my mic on? Yeah, we. Uh, I think we had some sort of like power. We surge. just had a. Pa um. Check, check, check. Yeah, we're on. PD Nim, can you hear me? And Yazio. Um. So I don't know if you guys can hear us or not right now, but we have a power surge of some sort going on. Check, 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 yeah. check. Oh. Can you oh, hear me? Yeah, I can hear you right now. Let's be... So we just had a power surge at our desk here. Yeah. It actually crashed the game as well. Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to have it a It crashed the game, which would be this computer countdown we had here. Um, I'm assuming our mics are going out right now. Yeah, I think so. Just be patient with us, guys, as we get this issue resolved. Cool drawing. That yep. looks like of the Jenner players there. So, all right, well, um, these things do happen. Uh, but luckily, it happened right at the start of the game. So yeah, thank God. Nothing can. Um, uh, nothing. So, anyways, uh, yeah. Just to cl uh, clarify, I'm assuming that our audio is going out here. But we, uh, yeah, we had a power outage. Not not a total power outage, but we had uh, something go fritz on our setup over here. So we lost. Uh, we got vision back now over here. So we see what you're seeing. We have yeah. uh, we have a <laughs> production obs up, but we're not going to have um, our in-game observer here. I'm assuming. Then once we get a um, confirmation here from Spo, we will jump into the game. The game is, I believe, on pause right now. Uh, yeah, it looks that way. Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, we lost our computer as well during this moment. It'll have to be rebooted and stuff. So we might even not even be in this game next game. It doesn't matter that much. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess during this downtime, we can talk further about SOS as the player. You know the, that they've chosen here. Um, you know he's got probably a really awesome plan, a PP on this four-player map. You might right. even have a late game plan because this map is the biggest map in the pool right now. Uh, if you cr spawn cross spawns, you're going supreme late game most of the time. It's hard to hit timing attacks uh, in PvP, even with the you know ability to use a warp prism to reinforce. Right. 
Um, you, when you commit to an attack, you really commit hard, and if you lose your army once, you lose the game. That's how PvP is. Okay, we're back. Uh, and here we are. Introduce a player's tasteless. If you say so, Wolf. In uh, the bottom right is SOS, our Protoss player. And I guess we're not going to... Just tell him who's in the top right. <laughs> and in the top right over okay, here in go. the red is our player stats, currently with a 2-0 lead. All right, so everything's back to normal now, hopefully. And we are at vertical spawns here. So, you know, I can't say, I can't speak for what SOS has planned, obviously. But if he was planning on something for cross spawns, it's not going to be as viable anymore. That's right. You know, I think this choice is overall better that they send SOS out here and save Maru for last. Um, because you're not looking at this thing. I think one of the, the things about Maru is he will not get an all kill tonight. Like, if, he, if SOS loses, I just don't think he can do it. He's only done it once in his entire career. And actually, Maru stopped playing for a long time because he was actually over overworked. He was, like, having wrist problems and things of that nature. He's just got, like, some endurance issues overall sometimes. And he, you know, gets stressed out in these moments, obviously, as any player would when your team is 0-3. So I think SOS needs to win this game. And if Morrow comes out as the last player, well, when he comes out, we should say, yeah, there's a high chance, you know, that he's going to struggle. He could do it. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible. But I think SOS is like, okay, we got to send him out. Now he's going to get multiple kills. Very important right now. SOS uh, gets as much intel as humanly possible. Yeah. And um, did get a lot of information there. You see a two gates coming up on both sides here. So it is going to be just two gateway... Uh, pressure. The question is, are we making adepts or are we making stalkers? Because that is the variation. Looks like they'll both be doing two stalkers. This may even become a little bit of a micro war, um, you know, across the map as they send those stalkers over. It'll be in, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they just both stay back on this since they're both going for the same builds. SOS is like really multitasking hard right now. He's trying to harass probes even just to get stats off of his groove. Maybe. Him, Maybe make him miss a probe for a second, you know, miss a pylon or something. Now we got, uh, this is, I think, pretty understandable here from SOS. He says, okay, you're going for basically the same build. That means I'm not going to do the initial build I was going to do. Now, Stats is actually committing to this. Maybe having a good read here um, on, uh, you know, uh, on SOS, knowing the, kind of the way SOS plays. Now, if, if SOS were to go for the same thing that Stats is doing, based off a little bit of uh, you know, blindness, it would be kind of a funny looking game. But uh, Stats, actually, this is a really good read. He's going to go for the rush anyway, saying there's no way SOS will commit with Stalkers if he sees me doing the same thing. Ford Pylon here to actually help deny this with the Mothership. But he's going to Pylon push here. Check this out. Oh, this is smart. So this is going to get SOS, assuming this works, this will keep SOS stuck with one Stargate out. Ooh, the Mothership core is not home, though. Yeah, well, this is this is really gutsy. Um, oh, I'm sorry. We don't have our Observer PC here, guys, so bear with us here for a second. We're probably going to have it in the next game. Um, the Mothership core now, is not with this yeah, army. The Mothership core is not with them, so bluff, if Stats basically. can commits with this rush, then this is going to be quite strong. And uh, in retrospect, I think it's pretty clear that the Mothership core should have stayed back at home because right now Stats has a superior number of uh, Stalkers, and Stats wins the early game here. Absolutely, and he controls the, the low ground here. He has a Nexus coming up. SOS is going to really struggle to get Nexus up. Now, he does have this Oracle, which can pressure, but I think that's going to be less significant than the well, Lion Well, the, the problem here. is he might try to go around with the Oracle, in which case th this is just a, a one Stalker army that's smaller, which would be SOS's. Yeah. Against uh, stats, which is just more stats can't kill him most likely here. Well, actually, hold on a sec. Well, he doesn't I mean, have any vision, so I mean, that, I mean, saying it's it's possible if he but really he, he will when he sees the oracle. I mean, once he sees the oracle, he'll probably he'll probably just go for it. Now, uh, SOS can position this so that it can avoid being hit, which is pretty handy. But we don't have stats going in just yet. Instead, we see SOS doing a good amount of damage here. This is the kind of damage you do. By the way, that is this looks like brood war muta micro with this. Uh, Oracle, yeah, here, really nicely done. He's gonna he does initially commit up the ramp. Don't forget the mothership core is back up at home now and does have enough energy for an overcharge. I think the bigger significance here is not that stats couldn't kill him, but that he has two next eye and SOS will not for a long time. Oh, SOS is gonna commit to an all in. Okay. This is sick. But or not an all in, but actually like a counter warp in. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I said all well, in there. Oh, oh no! Oh my oh. god! You saw the reaction there from SOS. Oh! Okay. And you need the oracles there to to to, uh, to pair well with the ground rush. Uh, this Oracle already about at half health, orange health here. He's right. gonna need to do, so this may just turn into some initial harass, then into a timing to yeah. get the second out here. 
He's going to make the two adepts. He's going to try to shade in. Don't forget, Stats has a really low economy, even though he has two next eyes. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Mining. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's like eight probes down. And if he can do a little bit more damage, yeah. the attack oh, becomes Oh, my oh, God. No. No. Well, you know, he's still got the these. The map doesn't go up far enough. <laughs> the adepts are coming here. They take out two probes. We've got warp ins here. Uh, he's going to try to shade into the main. But this forces these units back. It forces these units back, which means that SOS can now re-control his natural. He can the move across the map. The problem is, uh, in, unless he gets a tremendous amount of probes, it's basically stats um, going to be able to produce off two Nexi. And he's already got a very good army. I okay? think With Chrono Boost here, I don't think he needs to Chrono Gates at all. Yeah, you can see it here. SOS needs to make a Nexus. SOS actually has, I think, overall an inferior army. Yeah, and he... He can't oh, no, no, really, I, guess, I guess they're about even. Well, he can't really yeah. pressure with this much. Like, he can poke a little bit, but there's sentries here. It's very I terrifying. Is, I think the army comp and a head to head fight is better for stats. He's got. Um, yeah, he's, he's got sentries, for example. Yeah, that he can, can actually box us in. And he, I mean, there are oracles on the map, but of course, you know, if you just get the oracle at the right angle, uh, you can do damage. Now, granted, this is SOS versus stats. These guys both have incredible ma uh, micro, excuse me. So, you know, if one gets a few good hits off early on, it's no problem. All right, here come these oracles around the back. He's going to try to bait the army out and do some damage here. Three stalkers already in wait. And look, there's an overcharge. He already picks okay. off one oracle. This is bad news for SOS. The problem is the more that SOS uh, spends on oracles, we see there's been three in the game so far, the later uh, the development of his other tech is going to be. SOS can support two gates and uh, you know make an army and still make oracles, but he can't tech. And you can see he finally got the robo base started, so he's going to stop with oracles. But really, SOS is hoping to do the damage he needs to do right about now in this game. You know what's really interesting is that's cut pro production for a while here. Um, and I think that's because he thought he was up against an all-in, but SOS actually has a pretty massive worker lead. Now on two bases, 40 to 30, their army sizes are similar. I think SOS has kind of fought his way back into this game, but just by pressure alone, just by threatening uh, to kill without even committing to it. Um, and yeah, the tech was a problem, but he's got his robot. And look at this, more kills here in the main. Four oracle, or four, five oracle kills. Tags gets out this time, and he's even taken a third base. SOS is starting to get yeah. ahead, Tasteless. Well, he's definitely ahead in probes. I, I really like the way that he's playing this. He's, he's being very smart about it. He's keeping stats uh, very conservative. Well, SOS is playing in this really abstract way. I mean, normally if we, you know, if somebody said this guy's lost three oracles um, this game and got his nexus up later, I'd say, well, I don't even have to see the game to yeah, know who's yeah. ahead in that. But in this case, he's keeping stats with this kind of um, bulky, tanky defense that's not really mobile. While uh, SOS is just relying on this beautiful pin that he's got in this game. Ooh, nice kill on that. Uh, it looks like he's going to get both sentries. Oh, that he was gets actually one. so sick. But still, is a nice <laughs> pickoff. Uh, I think it's really important to note, though, that the worker count is just expanding and expanding and expanding for SOS. He's about to explode yeah. with that well, third base. His economy is going to get out of control. He's going to forge. He's like, oh, now you're the one who's kind of pressed to attack me. You don't have a third nexus. You haven't even made one. And the funny thing is, Stats has seen it, but he hasn't done much. Like, he hasn't ever put, pushed across the map. He hasn't had his own third nexus. He's, like, done neither, which is somewhat puzzling to me. He knows he's down a base. He knows he's down a probes, and he has a bigger arm, but he just sits. Okay, he doesn't get the probe. That would have been huge if he'd taken out that probe. Gotta be careful. He needs to keep these oracles alive. They're very important for tagging. He needs to keep um, an eye out for when the immortals start to push here. You know, stats... The, the immortals are the one thing that stats at least has right now. He's yeah. got these immortals. That's going to help you win a fight. Late game PvP. Uh, SOS has is, is segued this game, oh, actually a couple minutes ago, into total mobility, hoping to keep uh, Stats insecure about leaving his base and fear that he might get even more behind in probes. Oh, and like this. Which, here we go. Two oracles come in. They can one-shot probes. Generic crowd's going crazy here. Three more die, and he escapes with both oracles. Blink just 10 seconds away, not there in time. We are going to see a little bit more counter harassment here for stats, but you know he can't afford to throw these units away. He needs to get some decent damage done. And two probes, I don't know if that was worth it for two oracles. <laughs> I would say definitely not. Um, oh, okay, looks like he does get in the main. <laughs> finally, stats has turned to try to take out some workers. Unfortunately, still not enough. He's 20 workers down now, but and he's down a base. But there is this imminent threat of, of the, the uh, more complimentary PvP army here for stats eventually pushing out. Uh, as long as Stats can eventually get a big enough army and try to survey the map correctly, he should have a push that SOS might have a real problem with. Now, SOS is very crafty. He's repositioned his Stalker army a couple times on the map. It's back home now. And he's used those oracles to really uh, make Stats feel the threat in this game. But it seems like uh, as far as um, 
uh, SOS goes. He's just neglected Immortals this game. He's actually trying to just dive past that tech to get something more uh, sophisticated later on. Yeah, he's trying he's to go for... He's got just a small number here. Yeah, he's trying to go for a charge Zealot army, which, of course, we're going to see Archons added in soon. He's nearly at 900 gas right now. Yeah, yeah. He's got three bases. He has those security. He's using these oracles to continually, continually harass and keep his 20 worker lead. And actually, I want to I want to correct myself real quick here for the broadcast. I actually thought he had less Immortals. Um... That then then stats by a considerable amount, but he's actually done a decent job even in that regard. Yeah, uh, keeping these immortals up. He's got this third base up here. He's even got a nice wall to make it more difficult. He just has uh, more stats stuff to get in, in there. Like yeah. look yeah. at the supplies. I mean, it's because he's ahead in workers that his army is much bigger. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's 69 army supply to 55. He has a ton of extra zealots in here, and he's about to get a chunky amount of archons. He has charge first. You're going to pick off these harassing adepts like. SOS could almost not be further ahead. Like, if he had a, a fourth base, oh, wait, he just made one, you know? <laughs> like, I mean, it's, yeah, he's he's done a really good job. And this is why SOS is so scary, is he does play the matchup in, in a very adaptable way. And, he, and he's got so many different openers that it's tough to even predict what he's going to do. Um, now it looks like he wants to move out here and get the fourth base. I think the fourth base right now for uh, stats is going to be really problematic to get. It's very pushable. Uh, unless he unless it's put in an obscure location, in which case it's very adaptable. I mean, he's just controlling the area already. Like these units are, or that fourth base location is in a no man's land. Uh, he can't go down here, and he's actually now going to be under fire at his third base. The oracles are going to force the army out of position. I like this. I like this a lot from stats. Four stalkers are missing, but he's doing some harass. I think he wants to go for the closer here, though. Oh he's my not trying God. to come in here. The force fields are quite good. There are Archons in this army as well, though the Immortals in good position against these Zealots. But look at this! SOS is trying to get on the high ground. He's just going to bypass this entirely, and now he's got the high ground advantage. He wants to pick a fight with these Immortals over here in the right. Good micro there by Stats. He goes back. Uh, right now, he's still looking for another fight to have over here. A uh, great harass, though, here by Stats. It's now 55 probes to 50, uh, and that number is going to continue to diminish here for SOS. Uh, if, if SOS didn't have a fourth base, I would almost say this is a better better trade for stats overall, but he still has that fourth base, so he trades somewhat evenly, he has a better econ, and he escapes with his entire army. He didn't lose any of his army, and it's tough to attack in this position no matter which way you look at it, but SOS is just trying to force a good angle using the oracles again. The problem is, I, I think the, um, the army count here for SOS should be so much bigger. If you just look at the, 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 the raw supply, and for instance, this number of Archons is pretty scary. Now, yeah. he can actually hold position here. He doesn't even have to hit in. He's denying mineral patches, and that's going to be his way to catch up. He sees it. He's going to try to go for it right now. Oh, there's only one observer in this army, by the way. DTs are being added in, so keep that in mind. And this is just a much smaller army oh, from Stacks. Oh, he got it. He just took that observer out. Oh, it's still alive. Five health. Five health on the oh, no, observer. No, no, I'm sorry, yeah, five right health. There. Right still there. alive. It's still alive. Just, I thought he actually had the uh, one of the units selected here. SOS killed his own gas back at home. A small mistake, but he still has a much larger army, and he's actually stopping mining now. I mean, this is this, this is a big this, this is a big issue. This might be checkmate here. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think SOS actually um, can close this out because if stats can't mine from this for the next uh, minute or so, he's going to be dried up. Whoa! Whoa! Big that's mistake. a big deal. I. Uh, I mean, he's he's barely mining from this base, and SOS is a whole base ahead, mind you. And yeah. it, he's about to be two base ahead if this base can't mine. And there's nothing there's nothing Stats can do. He can't fight this army, and he's never going to bait SOS because SOS just presses H key and holds positions. Like yeah, you can't even bait him in. No, there, there, there's no favorable fight that can be picked here. Uh, it looks like it might be triggered right now as Stats tries to come in. He just gets a favorable trade and backs off. He's like, oh. Okay, I didn't get your Nexus now, yet, he, but he, I can just follow he, back. He just spreads and holds position. Yeah. As long as uh, one Stalker or one Archon can hit most of the mineral patches uh, and ideally damage the Nexus, it's going to be too much. Imagine yeah, if no, he S just... SOS, by the way, playing really conservative. It looks like he's going to back off again because he wants to just make sure he's absolutely safe. Imagine if he just put a Stalker or two on the high ground up here as well <laughs> before he fights I think, this. I think that's what he's eventually going to do here. I think he's trying so hard now. He just he's going to just target it down, and yeah. now it goes! That's it. that's it. He takes it out. And that's basically the game. That's How can Stats ever win a fight? He's down 40 army supply. Well, SOS is nearly maxed out. And notice he actually devoted so much to gas here. Almost all of SOS's army is Archons, which just makes it, like, kind of impossible to engage this here. Yeah. There's just too much splash damage. Um, it's. I mean, he's got the, the better ranged army, for sure. Right. And, I mean, he's got the better Actually, Archon count. Even for stats, these Stalkers kind of in the front here don't help that much. Yeah, not really. Not for all these Immortals. And no matter what, the splash, it, when you go into a concave like this, is just too much. I mean, he's playing this like a TBT siege tank fight, and this might be the last battle of the game. Stats is pushed back here. The Nexus is under fire as well, and he's now up 80 supply. It looks like the reign of stats is over, and, and SOS will take the win. GG! He breaks the streak.
And you know what? There's been like one reverse all kill in Pro League history that I can remember in StarCraft 2, and it was this man who did it, and it was against KT. He breaks the streak here, and now this is a series, Tasteless. Thank God. Uh, really nicely done there by SOS. It's now going to come down to KT to try to snipe him out of the game. All right, King Sejong Station will be the next map. And there's obviously a ton of different choices for KT yeah. because this is their first time sending out a second player. Um, with stats gone, the two big names that we normally see are TY and Zest, the players that come out every single time. It's how KT really secure I, their I spots here. I think you here. save Zest here to the, I to think the very so. end. I, 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 it, I would think it would just seem to be unwise. And also, like we saw in that last game, like SOS does play a very weird PvP. I mean, it's really, really good. I just don't know how you prep for it, even Zest. Yeah, um, I think I'm leaning towards Locera or TY coming out on King Sejong Station. If if Lenok has a plan for actually taking out King Sejong Station, um, you know, against SOS, I think like Lenok comes with really smart builds. He's really good on King Sejong Station. He's also good at short games. Yeah, nowadays and too. He, he reminds me of like an old Roro or something that we used to see, or like on Sejong, where I'm like, okay, you play the late game really well if you have to, but you can also kill people early. You will sure. never die to any cheese. Uh, so I, I, I like Lenok. I like Lucera. Um, TY is also great in these types of situations versus because SOS is known for like doing weird stuff, but TY dies to nothing. Like he almost never will be cheesed. He'll never get behind. That that's quite true, Wolf. I mean, he he really knows um, how to kind of handle anything from Protoss early on, which is important to keep in mind because um, taking out SOS here is key. And I, I would say TY, actually, after thinking about it for about a minute. Yeah, I think TY is... I think is the best bet. He's like the counter. It seems like he's like the counter, basically, uh, to SOS's play style. Um, but if he goes down, then suddenly we're tied, and the momentum has been shifted, and it's like, okay, well, who could deal with SOS? He's gotten reverse all kills before, you know? Sure, so. absolutely. Uh, and it's important to note that, like, SOS has won BlizzCon. I mean, he, he's, he's, done, he's done it all. He definitely is going to have the stamina and the ingenuity to take out a few Korean pros. But KT are going to be the toughest Korean pros he could have to take out. And I, I think KT has got to be, probably throughout that entire game, even just going, okay, what happens if SOS wins? Uh, we've got SOS Maru to deal with now. Who wants to come on which map? Like, they're sitting there talking it out. Like, no one's watching the game. They're all talking about what happens if he loses. You know what I mean? Like, right, they're all sitting yeah. in, that, in that chair on the team bench being like, all right, who wants to say Jong? Is it Lucero? Is it Lenok? TY? What are you feeling? Do you want to wait till later? Are you, are you ready to snipe Zest? Or what do you... What do you th or sorry, not to snipe, uh, Zest, to snipe Maru in a TBT. Like, what's your plan? What are we going into, into this? And so everyone's sitting in that, in that bench talking about this. So they have to have a really good plan in mind. And they have so much more flexibility because they had that 2-0 lead, which is why in this all-kill format, getting the first two wins in a row is very important. Looks like we've got our computer back online. We got it back. Thank you, Spo staff. We had a little bit of a of a crisis back there. Yeah. Um, Early on, with uh, we had this like everything on this desk just went like out of power, man. Like the lights, the or this screen, this yeah, screen, the camera, our mics, um, and uh, we were gonna have to become the daredevil casters back there. Yeah. Um, but we got it fixed. We're back. So, um, also just a props to um, uh, SOS for that PVP. I mean, that very was going impressive. very well for stats early on. Yeah. Taking he, out the oracles of SOS. He just outsmarted him, basically. He, like, yeah, threatened him it, while he took a third base and killed probes consistently while he was making a right. ton of probes. He tricked stats into thinking he was going to all in him, but then he just went, into, like, insanely macro. Like, he double expanded. Yeah. So. And he just kept making those oracles and just getting in there and sniping out the probes. And then he would withdraw, but he kept stalkers out in the back to make it look like, because we do see some all-in. Oh, Jenner Greenwings uh -oh. win, passing at KT. 1% like, lead. This is a, such a close final. This is one of the best round finals I can think of, like, ever. This is kind of the dream Yeah. for team versus team. When uh, I, I think the only round finals I can ever think of that was as good, which was for the grand postseason, actually was CJ versus SKT, but this is, like, about to pass it already with how good these games have been. Um, all right, guys, looks like we're going to have that KT Rollster player reveal the first one in this best of right, seven. Who's it going to be? We were saying uh, 